Race relations in America have been an everyday discussion after George Floyd died in the hands of Minneapolis police last month. In Denver, race and sports came to the forefront after the Broncos head coach said he didn't see racism in the NFL at all. He later apologized for the comments, but not before social media called him out for exemplifying the lack of awareness in the league. Today, we've got two former NFL stars turned sports broadcasters. Chad Brown was a linebacker for the Pittsburgh Steelers and does work with nine new sports during the season. And Nick Ferguson spent the majority of his professional career in Denver with the Broncos as a safety. He co-host Nick and Cecil on Sports Radio uh, 104.3 The Fan. Good morning, Nick and Chad. Thanks for joining me. Good morning. Thanks Good for having morning. me. So I want to start with you, Chad, first. Can you talk more about your experiences with racism in sports? Well, I think sports is always going to be a, uh, a, a, a just another view of society. And while the locker room is always going to be a place where players are accepted based on their skill sets, racism is a factor in players getting on the field from a coaching perspective, from coaches being hired, from general managing and team presidents being hired. So racism is always going to be a part of sports. And for me, growing up in Southern California, there were certain schools that uh, certainly you know, their student base and some of their parents looked down at my high school and you know were very um, derogatory towards us, just simply based on the, the people of color we had in our team. So uh, I have played sports my entire life and have seen racism be a factor in sports my entire life. I appreciate you sharing that perspective with me and your experience. Uh, Nick, what about you? What have you experienced? Well, for me, you know, like like Chad said, in the locker room, there's a lot of dynamics going on. And sometimes you have teammates who have grown up in different areas. Uh, they've experienced different things, so they don't want to see the world the same way that you see it. So I've experienced it in a way where I've come across a teammate because he grew up in the South. He might have said a couple of things that uh, was kind of normally discussed around the friends where he grew up in high school or his parents might have experienced. And it was upon me and my other teammates to kind of bring that person up to speed and let them know, okay, well, these are certain things that you cannot do, uh, even in this area, even in this space that we're in in college football. Yeah, responding with education. Uh, does this problem go beyond the athletes? Uh, yeah, I, I think it does. I mean, when you look at the NFL, there is not a team president who's a person of color. There are only two general managers in the NFL who are of color. There's only four NFL coaches who are of color. So for a league that is 75% African-American, the front office and the coaches don't reflect the makeup of the league. And I think you can go not just from football, but to all team sports and, and recognize that there is a, a, a difference between who's on the field playing the game and who's in the coaching boxes and who's particularly upstairs in the front office. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I mean, it starts at a management level, too, and you really have to, um, you know, get up to those levels. Tell me about the panel that you've got coming up on Thursday. Well, here's something interesting about the panel. Uh, I think uh, Rod Sharon, our program director, and Bonneville, uh, our, our parent company, for putting this together is going to be myself, Chad, Orlando Franklin, who played with the Denver Broncos, and Charles Johnson, who was a, a fellow teammate of Chad. And we're just going to sit around and have a discussion about race uh, in sports. So the listeners will get a chance to see it from our perspective and the conversation that we usually have as African Americans and just kind of bring them inside to, you know, what actually takes place. And even though we're professional athletes and professional men, we still endure some kind of racism, mm -hmm. uh, maybe in a business place or more importantly, you know, out in public due to the police. Yeah. Also, can I, can I add, yeah, I, I think it's going to be interesting because Orlando is originally from Canada, so he can give us a little bit more of a, I know Canada's our, our, our neighbor up north, but a little bit more of an international look mm -hmm. at, you know, race relations growing up. And then from a football perspective, Charles Johnson played quarterback at CU, traditionally one of the more white positions on the football field. Orlando Franklin played offensive line, again, another position where it's traditionally more white players. Nick played defensive back, where that meeting room is almost exclusively a black meeting room. So we're going to get several different perspectives and takes and experiences 
based on the various people on the panel. Yeah, I'm really looking forward to it. I do appreciate both of you coming on the show and sharing your personal stories too of what you've experienced. And I think it's gonna educate a lot of people. Nick and Chad, thank you so much for joining me. Thanks for thank having you. us on.